come and talk with y'all if I could, give you a little daily encouragement if I could. I want to introduce you to one of my favorite rooms in the church, and uh, some of y'all might recognize it because you work in here a little bit. As you can see around, this is one of our kids' rooms. And each day, uh, about 1 o'clock to about 2 o'clock, I come in here and I take my little folder that I have right here. Some of y'all, if you've been around, you might recognize it. You see me with it sometimes. And in this little folder, I come into this room and I have my chair and I set this chair up that I'm sitting in right now and it overlooks this window. This window looks out on the trees that are in front of the church. And what I do um, just about every day you know, when I'm here is I come and I go over that list that is in my little folder. And the, and the list of that, uh, in, the, in that folder is the list of the church members' names. Uh, families and things like that and so what I do is I come in here each day and I have a word of prayer with the Lord and I pray over the people of our church I pray for myself and pray for my family as well and what I do is uh, y'all are uh, put down into uh, letters so it's like uh, Monday I pray from people whose letter or whose names are from or ends with a and goes to about D and then throughout the week it just keeps going down there so you can kind of put together a little bit maybe where your last name is when Pastor Steve's praying for you. But one of the things I wanted to talk to you about this is not just simply tell you that you know, you're know you prayed for every day or at least you know once a week you are, but I hope that you also see something that I do here too as well I want to tell you about. And that's when I'm kind of finished praying, I take time to stop and I take time to meditate. Now, this is not some kind of Eastern philosophy or, spirit or thing like that. It's just what I like to think of as meditation is just stopping and listening for God. It's one reason why I like to look out the window and just look at the trees. It's been a, amazing seeing these trees over the last few years going here where I've seen them you know, lose their leaves and die in the uh, wintertime and then come back to life in the springtime. But the thing I want you to see and, and why I'm doing this video is I think it's important for us to meditate upon God too. And it can look in different forms of that. Uh, you could do like me, where it's simply during your prayer time, you just have a moment where you're focused in and try to focus in on hearing God and listening to what He is saying. Uh, other times with meditation, you can take a scripture, maybe it's just one verse, and you can meditate upon that verse. Just look at every word, just look at every nuance of that scripture, and just let God speak to you. Because I think one of the challenges we have, one of the problems we have, I think, so many times, is that... We, we do maybe do a good job of praying to God and giving him our supplications, but we have a hard time listening because we're so fast. We're so fast-paced in our society. We're so fast-paced in our lives. We just need to stop and meditate upon God and meditate upon what he would have in your life. Maybe, again, it is. You look out a window and you just look at nature and see what it's about. But again, this is something I want to challenge you on. In this time where a lot of us have a little extra time in our lives to do things, I hope that what you'll do is focus and say, you know what, let me have that prayer time, that daily unhurried quiet time, and let me make meditation a part of it to where I simply just stop and listen to hear what God has to say. All right, let's have a word. Dear Father God, Lord, we come before you. We thank you, Lord, knowing that you do hear us. Lord, knowing, Lord, that you have such good things planned for us. But, Lord, I pray that we would also take time, that we would pause our lives, we would take time to just listen for your answer. Because how many times do we ask the question, but we never listen for the answer because we're too busy going to the next thing. Lord, I pray that you will help us to be calm, to slow down, to meditate upon you, to meditate upon your word, Lord, and apply it to our lives. Lord, be with us, lead us, and guide us in all things. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right? Hope you can do some meditation. Get out there and let's hear what God has to say. All right? See you all later.